is what are the differences between DMVs and DMFs. First of all, DMV stands for Dynamic Management View and DMF stands for Dynamic Management Function. Uh, before I tell you the difference between DMVs and DMF, uh, first uh, I would like to tell you what they do for us. Uh, dynamic views and functions return server state or the database states that we can use to monitor the health of server or database. We can also use them to diagnose the problems and we can also use them to tune the performance. So this is what they do for us. Uh, I have a couple of um, examples here, uh, DMV, uh, the sys.dmdb index usage uh, stat and uh, uh, the function is exact cursors. So uh, if you notice here, there are system views, uh, they're uh, provided by Microsoft and um, DM stand for dynamic uh, management and uh, here up here if you look at it, um, it has DB in it. The reason it has a DB in it, DMVs and DMF has two scopes. One is, I'm going to write down here, server scope. This will give you the stats of entire SQL Server instance for us. And the other is database scope. This will give you the stats about a particular database that we're um, uh, trying to find out the stuff about. So this is, these are the two scopes of DMVs and DMFs. So you can always tell from what is the database scope. Database scope ha always has uh, a DB in it uh, and uh, a server scope uh, might not have a DB in it and it'll give you uh, the entire um, uh, structure of the enti entire instance uh, uh, stats or the states of uh, that particular SQL Server instance. So I'm going to quickly show you how these work and uh, the difference between, just quickly tell you what's the difference between DMV and DMF is, DMVs, the views are just like views, you can select multiple stuff, uh, you can select asterisk from uh, this view and it'll give you all the information. However, in DMFs, uh, whenever function comes in, you need to provide input parameter and then they will re return you value. And I'm going to quickly show you that how they work. So um, let me get into, um, this is my server and I have already written down here for you. Uh, this is my SQL Server instance. And if you, if I wanted to do the, um, in test DB, the dynamic uh, um, view that will return me the usage, index usage stat, what I'm going to do is run this view on this particular database and I will get all the uh, index usage stats here. But uh, notice here the second is function. So if I run the function, it's going to complain about that uh, parameters are not supplied for function. So if we wanted to know the cursor running on all the cursors, so I'm going to provide a parameter. So that's my parameter to give me all the cursors. So if I run that, right now there is no cursor running, but if it would be running, then it'll provide me all the cursor information. So the main thing is that they work together to give us uh, uh, server stats so that we can monitor health of the server, we can troubleshoot, or we can uh, do some performance analysis as well. And I hope this answer helps.